Hello everyone, welcome to Mr. Tech Tuner. So today we are going to discuss about the week one of AI or artificial intelligence for everyone which is sponsored by Deep Learning AI and Coursera. So in week one, so basically our instructor Andrew and Angie will talk about the basic thing. So we are going for the final quiz. Okay, so the quiz answers uh, are all correct. So as you can see, there's 100 percent marks. First question, which of these terms best describes the type of AI used today? in spam email spam filters speech speech recognition and other specific application this is called ani artificial narrow intelligence which are the basically ani and agi are the basically two types of ai number two what do you call the commonly used ai technology for in learning input a to output b mappings this is supervised learning and the third one you can see there is a graph is given there is a large neural net medium neural net is small neural net and traditional AI question is do you want to use supervised learning to build a space recognition system the figure above suggests that in order of the neural network deep learning to achieve the best performance you would ideally use which one a larger data set of audio files and then corresponding text scripts and a large neural network also number four the only way to acquire data for a supervised learning algorithm is to mainly level it. For example, given in input A to ask human to provide B. This is truly false. Number 5. Which of these statements regarding data acquisition do you agree with? Some types of data are more valuable than others. Working with an AI team can help you figure out what data to acquire. Okay, 6. You run a company that manufactures scooters. Which of the following are examples of unstructured data? Pictures of your scooter and audio files of the engine sound of your scooter. These two will be the main uh, unstructured data. Okay, so number seven. Suppose you are running a website that sells cat food. Which of this might be a good result from a data science project? Insights in into how to market cat food more effective depending on the breed of cat and a slight check or a slight deck presenting a plan on how to modify pricing in order to improve sales. Number 8. Based on the terminology defined in video 4, you will go through the video. Which of the following statements do you agree with? Okay, so the base term deep learning and neural network are used almost interchangeable. Deep learning is a type of machine learning. All deep learning algorithms are machine learning algorithms. Yes, correct. Which of these do AI companies do well? They also do strategic data acquisition, invest in a unified data warehouse, and export automation opportunities. So basically all of them. Number 10. Say you want to put a picture in a person's face A and output whether or not they are smiling because this is the task that most humans can do less in the less than one second. Supervised learning can probably learn this A to B mapping. Yeah, true. Supervised learning can. So after marking all these questions, you will get surely 100% marks. So for week two, stay with us and you can watch the next video that's already given in the pop-up menu. And thank you. Don't forget to subscribe.